go. Now the first thing we do is check if everything works. So we're gonna check these uh, 12 inputs for the counter and then the input 16 for the foot switch. So oh, we can first check the foot switch. So if I press the foot switch, then you can see here input 16 turns green. And the counting channel should do the same thing. So if I put uh, a pen Channel one turns green. It also gives an alarm because the channel is blocked. Don't worry about that. Channel two, channel three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay? So you can okay this one. You can reset that one. You can clear the uh, total pearls. You need to keep this pressed for half a second because I made it so that you don't accidentally clear the whole number. So you need to keep it pressed and then it will reset to, uh, to zero. And then when you start it, you should uh, run. You know, something is loose a bit here. It's a bit uh, noisy, but it doesn't matter. So if that works, then we can uh, load up the product and then we're going to do some counting. So we've loaded some product now. Um, this is your total number of pearls in counting mode uh, zero, which is going to, which I, I'm going to show you first. Counting mode zero, which you can set here in the settings just means that whatever pearls come off the vibratory plates, it will count them uh, in the bucket. If your bucket is full, you would have to stop the machine, change your bucket, uh, start it again, and then you know it will just uh, go on like that. Uh, suppose this was the number from the previous day, you need to uh, clear it. Um, I've protected it against uh, accidental pushing the clear button, so you'll have to push it for about half a second before it'll clear the number. Yeah, now it clears. And then we start it, and I'll show you how that works. So we start it now. Suppose your bucket is full, you take the bucket away, put the new one there, start it again. So this is one uh, counting mode. If we go to counting mode number one, we can count in uh, batches. Let's say batches of uh, 500. I've said pulse per pack 500. Uh, pulse to count at slow speed is 20. So when it, it 20 before it reaches 500, the plates will slow down. And the last ones will, will dribble until it got uh, 500. And it will uh, slow down to 78%. That's what I've said here. Now what's the number? Because we've already counted 1179 pearls. So this bucket, we need to take it away and put an empty bucket there. Because that's still from the, from the bulk uh, counting. And in the bulk counting mode, counting mode zero, so the foot switch has no, uh, no purpose. So you, know, you, you don't need to connect it or, or use it. 
So suppose they wanted to count in bulk for a while, they got the 1179 pearls and then they say no, from now on we want to count in batches. Batches of uh, 500, yeah? So we started. Okay, so we got 500 plus four. So there's 504 in that bucket. This is the total number of pearls. So if they if they don't want exactly 500 uh, pearls in the in the pack, but you know if they can allow for a, a little bit more, I'm not sure if they want to write down the number on the on the bucket or whatever. But this is counting mode one. So it leaves you with buckets that have either 500 or most likely it has a few more than 500. But this is still the correct number of pearls. So when we put the bucket there, a new bucket, empty bucket, uh, this will start from zero again to fill another bucket with 500 plus a, a few pearls. So we press the foot switch to accept. The foot switch starts the, um, uh, or restarts the, the machine. It also accepts this number. So we have accepted that we have a bucket with 500 plus four pearls. Okay, so this bucket is five extra. Let's do another bucket. So we're going to press the foot switch and then suppose that, you know, it's at the end of the day and you've counted uh, thousands of pearls and suppose you have a power failure. Yeah? Well, what's going to happen then? So we start this. And now suddenly there's a power failure. Power failure. Oops, how many pearls do we have? Well, power is restored after a minute. And um, we got 2363, and this it says that we got 173 plus two in, in this uh, bucket. That's of course not correct. However, we haven't accepted this, that number with the foot switch. So we just press the, uh, the reset button, and then it goes back to the number that we did accept, which was the 2188. And whatever is in this bucket, we just tip it back into the hopper. So we got 2888, and then we just start it again. in the bucket, okay, no problem. Um, now let's go to the next counting mode. So we first stop the machine. We accept this number, so we press the foot switch. So we now have uh, 26 and 92 pearls. So if there, were, if there would be a power failure, it will start up with 26 and uh, 92 pearls, yeah? Now suppose that they do want exactly 500 pearls in a bucket and not 503 or 502 or 505. Then we can set it to counting mode 
two. Counting my two, which makes sure that we have exactly 500. So it's still counting the total pearls. It's not changing. We, we haven't reset anything. It's still all the ones we've uh, counted before is 2692. So now we start in counting mode two. Let's start it. Okay, so we got 500 plus four, we got four extra. So what we do is we take these four and put them in the next bucket. So we got one bucket here with four pearls, we put it under the machine, and then we press the foot switch to accept this number of pearls. You will see that it will start counting from four rather than from zero. Two. So again, you take the two out, put it in the next bucket, put the bucket there, and start it. Five hundred four. Same thing. And also, if there's a power failure, again, as in counting mode one, you reset it, and whatever is in this bucket, you tip it back in the hopper, and then you still have the exact number of pearls that you've been uh, counting before and accepting with the foot switch. So if we accept this number now, and there would be a power failure, it would go back to the number that we accepted. And this one, tip it back in the, in the hopper. Okay. Now suppose that um, they've counted all these buckets. So, yeah, we, we first did a couple on counting mode zero in, in bulk. Uh, then we uh, counted a couple in, in mode one in... Uh, in packs that had approximately 500, yeah, 500 plus a little bit. Then we had a series of packs with exactly 500. And now the remaining ones, they just want to count in, in one big box. So they go back counting in uh, bulk. So we stop it. We accept this number because this number hasn't been accepted yet. We accept that number. And then uh, with a big box underneath, Box underneath, we go to counting mode uh, zero, to count in bulk. So these settings will disappear huh? when you go to counting mode zero because there is nothing else to, uh, to set. We still have the total number of pearls. pearls. And then we just start it. <laughs> And then at the end of the day, they want to save that to a, a USB stick, uh, print a, a receipt. So I go to the receipt here. Yeah. It will tell you the date, it will tell you the time, the customer ID, and the total count, yeah, 5740. So we take this dust cap off with a USB stick in there. Wait a second.
Okay, it says uh, you disk has been detected, close. And then you got two icons here. One is to, uh, to download the, this uh, receipt to the USB stick, which is what we're gonna do. So it saved it, receive saved, okay. Then you click the, uh, the disk icon and that will unmount the USB stick so that you know, it's safe to, uh, to take it out just like you know, it will save it on your Windows uh, computer. So we can take it out, okay. And then this, this white part, this uh, receipt, that will be saved on the USB stick in a BMP file that you can link to uh, your other documents. So that's how that works. Uh, reset to reset the uh, either the uh, the count from the from the batch there or to reset a fault that that happened. Um, then the, it got a hopper on off uh, switch. So suppose you start it. There's just way too many calls coming up. You can stop the hopper. That will keep the, the front vibrator running, but the hopper, the hopper is now the stop. So the other collector will run out. See, the hopper is not running. So if we turn on the hopper again, it will start feeding. That's just in case you know you see that oh, I'm feeding way too many products. You can quickly set, uh, turn off the hopper rather than uh, switch off the, uh, the whole counter. So that's the, uh, the hopper on off. Then we got the diagnostics. So we got those 16 inputs that I showed you about. There's four uh, DA converters uh, here for the, the speeds of the vibratory plates and also the acceleration. Uh, the next screen is the, uh, so you got the HMI info, the software build number, uh, PLC info, software and the build number, uh, your customer ID you can set here, change here, and you can set the date and the time on this uh, screen. Then, well, we have this recipe screen. So if there's no USB stick in there, then you don't see the uh, those two icons for uh, unmounting and for downloading the receipt to your uh, USB stick. And then these are your settings. So in counting mode zero, you only have the, the counting mode se uh, setting. And then you have the, the front vibrator speed. This machine has a middle vibrator speed, uh, but your one doesn't have that, so this one will be blocked out. Uh, and the hopper vibrator speed uh, and the plate acceleration six is fine you, you don't really have to change that the duty cycle is the duty cycle of the hopper so it it, uh, it turns on for a period of 70 percent and then the 30 percent is off so it, uh, you can change that you know if if that makes your pearls run uh, run better the product length is basically the, the average uh, product length or product uh, diameter of your, of your pearls. No need to worry too much about that. Uh, maximum product chip length, if there's chips in there or something, so some very, very small particles. It's probably not going to happen, but you can filter those out by setting the, uh, the minimum uh, length that it should detect as a, as a pearl. So that's uh, those ones. Oh yeah, and then if you go to counting mode one or two, then you can set the pearls per pack, uh, when the vibrators need to slow down, so be just before it reaches the end, and the speed that the vibrators sh should slow down to. So in this case, uh, 20 pearls before it reaches the 500, it slows down to 78% of whatever it was running at and then to, to finish, the, uh, finish the count. 
Yeah, I think that's all there is uh, to it. So the total packs you can clear with this button and the total pearls with that button. And this one also you need to press it for half a second, yeah, that you not accidentally clear all the uh, packs or all the all the pearls. And in uh, in counting mode zero, if you have a power failure, then you do not know the exact number of pearls. Only in counting mode one and two, because you're counting in batches, and you need to accept the number with the with the foot switch between every pack. Then the machine can remember the uh, the total number of uh, the exact total number of pearls. But in counting mode zero, that's uh, Whatever number you see there, you will probably have uh, you know, a few more or a few less.